Ivy, this is awesome. I have never been up here for the 4th before. It's a holiday usually spent by the lake or beach side, but this 4th of July, these ski enthusiasts are celebrating America's independence on the slopes. We got the red, white, and the blue, the white snow, the blue lake, and the red skin. <laughs> With record-breaking snowfall totals reaching 800 inches, Squaw Valley USA is open for business this holiday weekend. It's only the fourth time in the resort's history that we've opened for 4th of July skiing, and it is truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. You are not dressed in normal snowboard and skiing attire. What is it like to be out here today in this weather? Awesome. You are just wearing a bikini. <laughs> you know, I can't really ski in general, like even with clothes. There is nothing like skiing on the 4th of July. Now to put this into perspective, the resort couldn't make their own snow. It's simply too warm and nothing would freeze. So the snow that we're skiing on today is leftover snow from our winter season. There's about six to 10 feet of base snow. Pair that with 80 degree temperatures and you've got yourself a little bit of slush. A little, uh, little dirty here and there, but that's all right. Don't mind it. Getting a little slushy now, but it was great all morning. Happy July 4th! Woo! And let's not forget what the 4th of July is all about. Riders I spoke with took a moment to appreciate the men and women in service protecting our country. Just keep your heads up, man. Thank you for what you're doing. Thanks for our independence. Happy birthday, America! July 4th, 2011, a day to celebrate America and all the great terrain this wonderful nation has to offer. Reporting from Squaw Valley, Dina Kupfer, News 4.